Now here we discuss about the surface energy. What is surface energy? Before going to discuss about surface energy, first of all, let us try to understand the molecular phenomena in a liquid here. For example, this is a container containing some liquid. Now here we define the term surface film. The surface film is nothing but it is a thin film on the top surface of the liquid whose thickness is equal to the molecular range. But what is molecular range? Molecular range means it is the maximum distance uh, up to which a molecule can attract the another molecule. For example, this is the molecule, this molecule can attract the another molecule up to this maximum distance. Now this distance is called here molecular range. Now we consider a thin film on the surface of the liquid. Now whose thickness is equal to the molecular range is called here surface film. Now let us try to understand the surface energy. Now here we consider three molecules, a molecule A inside the liquid, molecule B inside the surface film, molecular C on the surface of the surface film. If we observe the molecule A is uh, surrounded by molecules, this molecule A experiences the attractive forces in all directions. So the resultant force acting on molecule A is zero. The molecule A experiences attractive forces by surrounding molecules in all directions so that the resultant force acting on molecule A is zero. But if we take molecule B, for the molecule B, the lower half is a full of molecules. and the upper half uh, having some less number of molecules means for this molecule B the upward force is less and downward force is more because of this downward force is more this molecule B experiences resultant downward force and if you take molecule C for the molecule C the upper half is empty and the lower half is uh, full of molecules so here the molecule C did not experience any upward force, it experienced only downward force. So that the molecule C experiences a resultant, resultant downward force. Means uh, what we observe here, the molecules present in surface film and on the surface film experiencing resultant downward force. Because of this resultant downward force, they come to the inside the liquid. If they come to the inside the liquid, then less number of molecules present in the surface of the liquid. If less number of molecules are present, uh, then surface area decreases here and the potential energy of the surface film also decreases here means uh, because of the surface tension property what happens here the molecules present in the surface film and the molecule present uh, on the surface film uh, experience resultant downward force because of the resultant downward force the molecules uh, comes inside the liquid so that the surface area of the surface film decreases and also it uh, is under the tension called uh, surface tension and the potential energy of the surface film also decreases here now in this way we explain the surface tension property now we try to understand what is surface energy now if a molecule inside the liquid is tries to come to the surface film now it has to overcome the the molecule inside the liquid to come to the surface film ha has to overcome the molecular force of attraction surrounding it this molecule for example take molecule a here this molecule a is a uh, surrounded by molecular forces around it now if the molecule a has to come to the surface film uh, its uh, energy will be increased means uh, what happens here it has to do the work against the molecular force of attraction whenever the molecule is at a inside the liquid its potential energy is less whenever it comes to the surface film its potential energy increases why because uh, this molecule a has to do the work against the intermolecular force of attraction because of this uh, molecular force of attraction it remains in the inside the liquid now when it comes to the surface film uh, then it has to do the work against the molecular force of attraction now the work done against the molecular force of attraction is stored in the form of potential energy so that the energy of the surface surface film will be increased as like this how many number of molecules comes to the surface film uh, like that uh, the surface the energy in the surface film also increases here now the surface energy is defined as the it is the additional potential energy obtained for, for surface film uh, per unit surface area now surface energy is equal to additional potential energy per 
unit surface area is called here surface energy when the molecules present present inside the liquid come to the surface of the liquid then the surface is getting the some additional potential energy now the additional potential energy gained by the surface film to its area is called here surface energy this surface energy having the formula now surface energy is equals to additional potential energy by area this additional potential energy is nothing but it is the work done against the molecular force of attraction divided by area also we can write now we can write surface energy is equals to additional potential energy by area or work done by area also this work done is converted into additional potential energy now so in this way we define the surface energy this surface energy also has the same unit as that of energy for energy si unit is joule for surface energy also si unit is joule now surface energy means it is the additional potential energy gained by the surface film for its uh, unit surface area is called here surface energy now let us try to derive the relation between surface tension and uh, surface energy